Hello, this is Luna Keyblade, and we're back with part two of Fantasy Star 4 for the Sega Genesis. Last time we discovered a strange monster down in the basement of Motavia Academy, and now it seems that Alice has some questions for Han. So let's see what this is about. Now, Han, come over here. What? What are these glass containers for? These... Hey, are you by any chance breeding monsters here? If that's the case, this monster business is no mystery after all. I don't know anything. It's the first time I've been in this room. I've only just learned that such a thing exists at the Academy. Um... Really, it's the truth. I believe you, for now. The principal must know about these containers. He must also know the connection between this and the disappearance of Professor Holt. Yes, let's see what the prince let's see the principal again. Come on, Chaz. Hey, don't leave me here. So now let's get out of here and continue. Okay, sorry about that. Had a little trouble with the emulator. Anyway, okay, we're running into more monsters. Anyway, it's now it's time to go back to talk to the principal again because something fishy is definitely going on here, isn't there? Uh, sorry about the ad in the background. I don't know what's doing that. I'm not sure what's making that. <laughs> I wish I could mute it somehow. <laughs> Let me see if I can do that. Take advantage of our. Okay, now I'm back. Hopefully that won't happen anymore. <sighs> anyway, as I said, we're going to go talk to the principal as soon as we get out of this basement. And we'll see what's going on. No surprise attack in most RPGs usually means they ambush you, but in this case it means you ambush them, so it's more like a preemptive attack. So you get to attack first without having to worry about them coming after you. <laughs> okay, Chaz gained another level, and Han should have too, yep. Okay, that's a good technique that Han just learned. It'll be pretty helpful in the future. Okay, now we're back in the academy. And as I said before, we gotta go talk to... Let's go talk to some of these guys first, though. So I'll try to remember. I'm studying history. This planet has had problems since the beginning. Presently, we have an abnormal climate, soil depletion, and decreasing birth rate. Ew, that's not good. It makes me pessimistic about the future. This guy is too depressing. <laughs> I don't blame him. Recently, the rate of environmental degra degradation has increased. Han, what are you doing in the company of those uncivilized animals? Oh, well, excuse me. What a jerk. Maybe I'll have a little fun with them. Ah, please, put that away! <laughs> I didn't put what away. I wonder, you have to wonder what Alice pulled out there. 
If you're looking for the principal's room, it's way in the back. Yeah, we already know that. But recently, he's been acting strangely. I think he's scared of something. Once, there were three planets in the Algo solar system. But during the Great Collapse, the planet Parma was lost. Now only Desolus and this planet remain. Yeah, gee, I wonder if that's going to play into the story later. <laughs> well, I guess we'll find out. Apparently, a thousand years ago, there were ships that could travel through space. Today, the only thing we can do is view Desolus through a telescope. Aw, oh, just once I would want to go to Desolus. It sounds like a dream, traveling to another planet. Wow, what a view! Yeah, can we see? Like, the player? <laughs> Guess not. <laughs> okay, back to the principal's office, and let's goofing around. Well, what's wrong? You seem upset. Were you able to defeat the monsters? Yes, but there is something I want to ask you. What? Is it just my imagination that I saw some strange things in the basement? Uh... <laughs> Stop being around the bush! Someone keeping information from me is the sixth most dangerous thing in this world. Alright already! I'll tell you what I know. You are aware of the recent outbreak of a new breed of monster? Oh yes, thanks to the outbreak I'm not hurting for work. Three months ago, Holt identified Birth Valley as the origin of the outbreak, and he went to investigate. He says he discovered the remains of an ancient and advanced civilization. The investigation team brought back the monster breeding capsules and immediately set forth on their second investigative mission, but not one of them came back. Yes, that's right, Han. And despite all this, you didn't send out a rescue team and banned entry to Birth Valley. No, no. I, I was trying to send out a rescue team, but something happened? At that moment, a man who called himself Zeo appeared before my eyes. Zeo? I've heard of him, that fake magician. Ah, my dear principal of Motavia Academy. How are you doing? Who who are you? My name is Zeo. Zeo the Black Magician. <laughs> do not intrude on Birth Valley. What do you mean? In the future, if you ever let anyone set foot in Birth Valley. Ah Let me make something clear. There is no need for you to go to Birth Valley. It's related to the research team. So that's why the Birth Valley situation was announced, and also why you tried to keep a lid on the monster situation. But what is this all about? Remains of an ancient advanced civilization and Zeo? It seems like these are signs of things to, of something to come. I need to help the professor. I'm going to Birth Valley. Psst, Han. This is egg laying season for sandworms, so be careful. Uh, Alice? We'll tag along for 300 Meseta plus expenses. Uh, deal. Birth Valley is to the northeast. Let's hurry. Yeah, one thing I didn't mention in the last video is when, um, Alice says that Han has to pay for his trips with us, we actually do get the Meseta in our in our account. <laughs> Which means right now we have, see we have over a thousand <laughs> Meseta. So, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Okay, I guess we're off to Birth Valley. But maybe we ought to make a stop somewhere and see if we can buy some equipment first. I can't remember if there's a weapon and armor shop in this town or if it's another town. Looks like it's probably in another town. 
is just an item shop here. So, we'll go to the inn and rest first, and then we'll leave. <laughs> Welcome, this is the inn. Fifteen Masetta, would you care to stay? Please have a relaxing stay. Thank you very much, please come again. She's pretty polite, isn't she? Okay, now we get to leave town. Let's see, he said to the northeast, so we go this way. And we get new monsters. Which is why I'll be glad to get some new equipment when we do reach another town. Or another town that has it, at least. Actually, yeah, I think I was supposed to come to this town now that I think about it. <laughs> I was going to go into that town. Gosh, I'm stupid. <laughs> I'll head back in a moment. Okay, now I'll head back. Because I did, like I said, I did mean to go into that town. Oh, wow, look at that building across the... Maybe we'll find out later. Okay, now we're in the town of Mile. This is the village of Mile. And this is our newly built sandworm ranch. What do you think? Isn't it great? This will attract a lot of tourists. Ah, oh, sandworms, huh? Hmm. Anyway. Is there a... Yeah, here we go. Here's a... Here's an equipment shop. Um, I always prefer to do armor first. Okay, let's see. I need the armor right now. So let's just go to the weapon shop then. Okay, I'm going to buy a steel sword for Chaz. And I'm 
I'm gonna buy two slashers for uh, for Alice. And in case you're wondering why I'm not buying anything for Han, you'll see in a moment. She has two slashers, so she can attack with two at once, which will increase her attack power a lot. And, as I said, there's the reason I'm not, I didn't buy any new weapons for Han, because I will ha I already have one after I equip Chaz's new weapon. So I'm put one of those on him. <laughs> And I used to, you can either have Han use two daggers, like, um, like Chaz did, or you can have him equipped with one and a shield. For Han, it's, I find it better to use the shield, because his defense isn't the best. <laughs> so you probably do want to use that. Anyway, we're done here. So let's, and there's really nothing else to do here except maybe go ahead and rest at the end down here. And then, so then we'll move on to Bird Valley. Welcome, this is the inn. Thirteen Masetta, would you care to stay? Please have a relaxing stay. Thank you very much, please come again. Okay, now we'll continue on to... Birth Valley. And of course, run into more monsters on the way, but we have better weapons now, so we ought to be able to take them out better. Yeah, wow, look, she did in that fly in one hit. Okay, Han's still not gonna be much help, but oh well. <laughs> How did you both miss that thing? <laughs> or all three of you miss it, rather. Ooh, nice. Way to go, Alice. Okay, Chaz gained another level. And that's also a good technique to use. <laughs> we'll be making use of that. Han and gained a level. Okay, here we are. The town of Zima. Zema, something. And based on the music, we can already tell something's not right here. Uh, let's talk to this guy. They've been turned into stone! And that's pretty much the response you'll get with whoever you talk to, probably. Um, yep, that's all they're gonna say. That's all they're gonna say about them. And because of that, even the stores are closed. <laughs> Well, nothing else to do here but go on in then, I guess. So, into Perth Valley we go. Continue on anyway, I was what I was saying. Carbon shield is procured, okay. New shield for Han, that sounds good. If you can use it, uh, you should be able to. Yep. So that means a defense boost for him, that always helps. So let's get going. Back this way. Yep, 
Yeah, those things aren't giving us much experience now. <laughs> up a trivia chest back there. Well, I'll get it on the way out. <laughs> I'll try to remember to. Okay, here's another treasure, and I, of course I come across monsters first. Bladder plant? Is that what that says? That's a weird name. <laughs> Carbon suit? Let's see. Who should we give that to? 18... 15... And 14, so let's give it to Han. <laughs> we'll be getting more of those eventually, I'm sure, like in a store in another town. Okay, here's some more people that are stoned. So, maybe we're on the right track now. And who's this that's blocking the door? Oh! Professor Holt! What on earth? An ancient curse? I can't believe someone is able to cast such a spell in this day and age. Isn't there any way to restore them? I've heard that a medicine called Alshline can be used to turn stone back to flesh. Where can we find it? I heard about it some time ago in a Motavian village. But we're talking some time ago. Which Motavian village? It's the village of Molcom, which is far south of here. Alright then, let's get going. Let's see, if you're going to Molcom, I'll make you a deal. Just 500 Meseta. You devil! Yeah, that means we made $900 off the poor sap. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm going to stop here this time. So, I hope you enjoyed this part of Fantasy Star 4. And next time we will begin our search for the Ash Line. And who knows what else we'll run into on along the way. So until then, this is Luna Keyblade, signing out. See you next time. Bye.